What's up guys, Charles here with D2IPDesigns.com and uh, today is going to be part 2 of the uh, Cinema 4D animation slash intro tutorial I'm doing. Um, now I'll just be finishing up in After Effects. Um, as you can see here, I got the uh, GV FXT to, uh, intro. Um, so I'm going to be showing you what I did in After Effects to uh, enhance, I guess maybe I should say what I did in Cinema 4D. So here are the layers I have. I'm just going to shut off all of them and start off the back layer here. So um, what I did was I went to layer, new, solid, and then on the solid I went to effect, generate, and ramp. And then I added a uh, gray color and a black color and um, I just stretched them out until I found the uh, look I wanted. So that's all pretty simple. That's just a background. And then I added in the uh, Cinema 4D layer. It's a, uh, PNG, a PNG image sequence that I rendered out from uh, Cinema 4D. Um, and then all I have on this is a Gaussian blur, which is right here, and it fades out. So that's obviously simple. Just go to the effects, Gaussian blur, and op and uh, under transform, open open up transform, and then you know click on the uh, stopwatch at a keyframe for the opac opacity. And then as it goes along, it blurs and fades out. And so now if we uh, open up this text layer, as it's as it's fading out and blurring, this is unblurring and fading in. So same sort of thing, we just put a Gaussian blur on it, keyframed it, and uh, messed with the opacity. So there you go. And then an adjustment layer here is uh, for our color correction. Just very simple color correction. And then this one's also color correction as well. Um, so let me go ahead and turn this off. Um, I used uh, looks and then just the um, brightness and contrast which comes default with uh, After Effects so let's see here I don't think the uh, yeah okay that's what I thought the color correction actually doesn't kick in until right here when it switched to this frame and what I did in looks is let me go ahead and hit edit I added in a haze flare if you, ha if you have looks you can just copy these settings right here that I have and then I also did the color ranges which again you can copy those just pause the video or whatever you, if you need to and uh, so what I did was under the adjustment layer I had it set to a zero percent opacity so you couldn't see it and so I set a keyframe right here and then moved one frame forward and brought the opacity up to hundred percent and so you get this nice glow here and then I added on the brightness just to brighten everything up a bit Sorry about that, guys. I'm really not sure why I left off here. I just got briefly interrupted. Um, let's see what we're doing. Oh, yeah, I think I was talking about the uh, brightness. I just added on the brightness and um, just left it at 60 for brightness. The contrast was not messed with at all. And as you can see, it just gives a nice little extra glow. And then um, and the adjustment layer slowly fades out over time which I thought looks pretty cool. I thought it reminds me a little bit of like a film burn. But uh, yeah, like I said, under the adjustment uh, layer, I went to transform and just mess with the opacity again like the other ones. And then um, same goes for this one. Um, I did the uh, looks on this. And um, again, uh, all I did for this one, rather than having um, brightness, I just had the regular looks. And uh, let's see. I really can't notice, or I really don't notice much a difference. I'm trying to figure out what this does here. Um, I don't know. I had it on here for some. Oh wait, it's not even turned on. No wonder I can't tell any difference. There we go. Okay. So let's see here. Okay. So yeah. And um, this one just has color ranges on it. So anyway, um, and I believe this one fades out, or no? 
No, I guess it doesn't. Okay. So anyway, those are some of the things I did. Um, there's other things you can do. You can add in um, optical flares from Video Copilot, or you can add in um, Null Light Factory. Personally, I think optical flares blows the Null Light Factory out of the water. I think it's much better, but you know, you may prefer Null, the Null Light Factory. Um, and then the other thing I like to add sometimes, depending on the effects you're going for and the sound effects, Twitch can be a cool option, but um, I didn't feel like anything like that was necessary for this intro. I didn't think it'd really look right or would really be necessary. Um, so yeah, those are some of the things I usually do for an intro. Um, always, I pretty much always um, use a background. Um, very rarely do I just leave it plain old black. I usually add in a background. Obviously, I add in the uh, layer from uh, Cinema 4D and then uh, sometimes a 2D text layer and then some color correction and then sometimes I'll add in some flares or twitch um, but usually that's about it so, uh, I mean there's other, like I said there's other things you can do but usually I don't mess with it too much so uh, hopefully this will give you guys some ideas and some understanding um, if you get if you finish a bunch of stuff in here and you have a bunch of layers um, what you can do is you can just select the layers you want so I'll just select these I guess and then go ahead and hit layer pre-compose or control C, control shift C and you can make a composition so there you go and then if you figure out um, or if you realize there was something you missed and you need to edit the composition then just double click it on or just double click it and it opens up and then you can just edit whatever you want in here and then just close it and whatever modifications you made will also be um, changed in here so uh, that's pretty much it guys hopefully you found this helpful and uh, if you want any more tutorials or maybe you know I don't know whatever tutorials speed arts whatever just let me know you know I'm here to please you guys that's that's my goal you know keep my subscribers happy uh, try to keep a very good relationship with you guys and so far I'm very satisfied with it you guys have been great a lot of support given to me and uh, I appreciate a lot so I'm out of here guys peace